<laughs> Merry Christmas. Wow. I know it's, it's January, it's, it's, but... It's really extra, but... Yeah, I, I just wanted to do something special, you know, something that uh, I don't typically go out of the way to do, so... Yeah, this is... I, I don't think you're gonna know what it is. Really? Yeah. Huh. Uh... Thanks? Of course. <laughs> let's just... Let, let's just... Let's just get in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just... Yeah. I'll just well, stick. there's an easy starting point. The entire backside is out. Hey, shut up. <laughs> oh my god, it's our bench. But... We gotta keep them wrapping. <laughs> oh! You goober. Oh! What? Look at that. Still got the same ketchup ass stain from me. Man, feels like Christmas. Did you like it? I mean, you couldn't get cup holders? I I added cup holders. Did you not did you not see the fucking cup holder? That's what that is. Oh shit. I'm so dumb. Bro actually just said You couldn't get fucking cup holders. <laughs> that was the whole fucking point. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I didn't open it. I just thought, like, what the hell is this gonna be? Oh wow, there's a fucking square on the side. You gave the bench mumps. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I didn't just unwrap the bench for nothing. I added shit. The most fucked fuck intro ever. We're back, baby. We're back. The oh. bench got upgraded. It's a fucking transformer We're now. Using all of this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're keeping it raw. Oh my god. We're trying to do a planned, uh. half planned intro. <laughs> Did you, <laughs> you couldn't add fucking cup holders? <laughs> you dick. I didn't know what it was. Yeah. I didn't open it. <laughs> so, so. To start Welcome off. back to bench. Welcome back to bench. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how to start, like, it just feels weird to be sitting on this because it's been wrapped up for about a month. I know, but, um, I mean, welcome back if you decided to come back. Um, what a great, what a great view we have of... I know, it's so beautiful. Of... The, I, yeah, it's, it's so pretty. <laughs> yeah, I just... <laughs> Undecided. Um... You know what's crazy about this episode is that this is going to be the first episode where we don't actually know where we are. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, which I think it just adds a little spice to it, you know? You know what I think would be spicy is, is if every time like I snap, it's a different spot. Oh, yeah, just throughout the middle of it. If we yeah. ever make like a clap noise or something. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. it just changed right now. So that's crazy. Dude, wow. Damn. Oh my god! Oh my we god! Can teleport. Bird, yeah. That's crazy. Dude. As hell. Yeah. <laughs> Season two is going crazy. I'll yeah. run out of like background ideas, yeah. so I'm gonna just start putting like random memes or something. <laughs> <laughs> or just in front of like a, a basically a. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be like the equivalent of those dudes on TikTok. I had to say something before I just started stuttering forever. Yeah. Um, we'll be the equivalent of those dudes on TikTok who like green screen in front of like a tweet. Yeah. If you can't hear it, it's because we're we're <laughs> yeah. visualizing. What's funny is just a few seconds ago during a mic test, Colin like in front of the camera was just like <laughs> mic test. <laughs> like that. <laughs> like that. You we, could you could definitely hear it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it was so douchey. Yeah. But like I said, it's <laughs> it's like when you turn down the audio in your car. So you can see better. Yeah, take <laughs> yeah. away one of your senses to focus exactly. in on another. Yeah, it's nothing like what you did. That was <laughs> yeah, so <I> stupid. <laughs> just let me live. <laughs> I was trying to um, oh, man. just cover up for how stupid that shit was. Yeah, it's um, fine. But so we're now recording at the end of January. Yeah. And when Devin originally left for New York, we thought, okay, we'll be back like early January, kind of mid yeah. January, so that we could do like. A late Christmas episode. Uh, it's a, it's really late. Yeah, it didn't really work out that way. We actually did try to record last week, but um, certain things came up. So mm -hmm. um, we're getting it out of the way now, which is perfect because it's been way too long. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, um, 
I finally get to see what you've done to the whole thing, which yeah. is pretty dope. So to anybody who uh, didn't understand the intro, uh, <laughs> Colin put squares on the side of the... Yeah. You know, I just, I gave it a little, uh, Dude, you know, tumors on the side. Not even that, but like also, you're not even using the biggest feature you added, which is right here. You're not even using it. I, that's a great point. <laughs> oh my <laughs> The whole oh point God. was that I added a tray underneath so that yeah. when we're recording, I can like keep the iPad down here so that if we ever need to check on it, we can check on the audio. Pretty sick. The only thing I'm worried about is that the iPad has a lot of magnets in it and this is like steel. Mm. So a lot of times it magnetized to this. I added this little like rubber grip pad so that it would not slide, but it yeah. doesn't help at all with the magnetism. Okay. Um, so, I kind of have to figure out that part first and see if that messes with the audio at all. Because I don't know if, like, electromagnetic type shit can mess with audio frequencies. Okay. These so, are all just words. Yeah. I, I wouldn't want to get through a podcast and then we record and then realize that, like, oh, since this is metal and it's, like, that makes magnetized, yeah. you couldn't hear anything or something stupid like that. That would... That would make me sad, considering like we've lost we've lost like two episodes or yeah. three like in season one. To, we're like, definitely trying problems. to cut out any problems yeah. like that again. Yeah, we're trying to optimize it to the best of our abilities. Like um, our location clearly is yeah not affected by weather. <laughs> <laughs> that was the whole reason for us being here, you know, in this location. Place, yeah, uh, yeah, in Florida. In sunny old sunshine state, yeah. uh, it's supposed to rain. Um, it hasn't rained yet, but my weather radar was telling me, oh, it's supposed to like pour at 12. And then today it's telling us, oh, it's supposed to rain at 3. And we just don't want to risk it because it yeah. keeps moving back. But But luckily we're not in Florida right now. We are actually... Oh my God, that's oh, so crazy. <laughs> we can't even make a joke about where yeah. it is because I don't know if I'm going to like edit it in later. But if you say like, oh, hey, I'm here. Yeah. I'm sure I can find a picture on Google. <laughs> Wait, really I mean, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> we just teleported. Whoa, that's oh, crazy. Man, yeah. Let's talk um, about these cup holders. Yeah. Man. So I added some cup holders. Uh, you know, got to stay hydrated. Yeah. Uh, but as you can see, there's no drinks. Yeah. So I actually wanted to address that, or I didn't want to. Uh, somebody else did. So okay, okay. This this is the shock to Devin. So we have these gifts down here. These are our gag gifts that we we're gonna do. We both got each other something. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I will actually start off with something else. Oh boy, I actually have no idea what this is i saw it to the side and i saw i heard the noises coming from it i'm like oh my god it's alive no, i did kidding. not get <laughs> maybe uh, just be careful oh, opening it okay cool, cool cool um i did not get this but i did wrap it so okay. you're gonna unwrap it all right i'll um, i can hold your mic thank for you. you appreciate it of course Good job wrapping, by the way. It looks nice. Of course. Yeah. This is my specialty. Uh, As you can see by the well-wrapped bench. Yeah, clearly. <laughs> if you disregard the entire backside, yeah, it's really good. Yeah. <laughs> but after however long of trying to do this, I just gave up. Yeah. So I could, I, it, it looked good from like what you did get done. <laughs> I'm going to have to blur that out. <laughs> Oh, shit. I didn't realize there was a shipping label. <laughs> uh, I'll blur it. Okay. All right. So that's on. I don't want to look yet, but. <laughs> I mean. What the? What? So. It's yours. <laughs> yeah, that's mine. What the hell? I actually used that one. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, Rappers. <laughs> Where did these come from? So, Holy shit, uh, this is dope. for Christmas every year, me and my girlfriend, we kind of do like a uh, like price limit Christmas gift because we're both, you know, in school and doing our own thing and we don't have $500 to spend on each other every year. So, we'll be like, oh, hey, like this year the limit we'll just say is, um, 
we'll say that our limit for spending is going to be about like 50 bucks oh because then her birthday's right after my birthday's right before so her christmas gift was that she had gotten us custom uh mugs made by a person locally that's so nice thank you thank you and yeah I, I thought it was pretty cool. That's what used to be our uh, channel art. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we got the, the bench branded cups to go in the bench cup holders. Dude. This is actually really dope. I know. I, is, I was so yeah. excited. Um, this is going to make my gifts feel like shit. <laughs> so then, full disclosure, you cannot throw it in the dishwasher. You have to hand wash it on cold water. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Thank you for that. I, said, yeah. I had to do the commercial thing where they're like, uh, just black the screen it? out. Just Oxycontin can really help with your pain <laughs> development. <laughs> oh my God. Abuse of Oxycontin can kill you, Ed. But it, <laughs> just complete random. The disclosure information. But Has Megan's name been said on the podcast? Can I say thank you? I don't know if I actually have. To everybody. I, uh, I was, to everybody who may not have heard, I do have a girlfriend. Her name is Megan, and yeah. um, she Thank doesn't live in another country. I do have a girlfriend. <laughs> she she exists, yes. Yeah, uh, but uh, I just thought I'd clear. <laughs> Thank you, Megan. That was actually a really nice gift. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Megan. I've said it before, but yeah. I'll just say it again because you're great. Man, now we have to get to our shitty things. <laughs> yeah, so we, oh. we started off at a high point, wow. and now we go into the gag gifts. Uh, Would you like to go or... I mean, not gag gifts. I, I really put thought into it. <laughs> I put... There were thoughts. <laughs> there were thoughts, yeah. Um, on. I don't know if... I don't know if you're um, going to feel better giving me your gift after you see mine. So, ha, how do you feel? Maybe should we, like, do a coin toss or something? I don't have a coin, though. Uh, rock, paper, scissors. Okay. Um, the if winner has to open first? Winner decides. But I don't want to decide. <laughs> that means I want to lose. Come on. <laughs> okay, I'll decide. You go first. That's okay. It. That's okay, fine. Cool. Sure. As in I open first or as in I give you gift first? You show off yours first. Okay. So give me... I guess that was so confusing. <laughs> <laughs> I know. We're not um, the best at communicating. <laughs> which is great for a podcast. Yeah, it's really good, yeah. Um, here you are. As you wow. can see, it's amazingly wrapped. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually is... so fucking proud of this. <laughs> like, this is... I wrap, it's not perfect, yeah. but. For, as far as like spheres go, for a like. Sphere. <laughs> you can't really do much better. Like, I'm, I felt proud of it. I put a no, little you bow should on be. top. You should be. It looks good. All right. Well. All right, do the, the thing again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm your mic stand. News reporter thing. <laughs> I'll just let you get it open first. Oh my. The ribbon actually makes it a little harder. <laughs> you know. Yeah, my fault. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to make it look pretty. <laughs> Am I really grabbed it? <laughs> a little bit. So, I was trying to support your hoop dreams. Oh, that's so nice after all the times you made fun of me. <laughs> yeah, well, the thing is, um, I, I wanted one that you could, like, legitimately Stop. practice with. So Stop. <laughs> I, I didn't get you the regulation size, because I thought at least that way you could grip the ball better. <laughs> um, I got one that fit your needs a little bit better. <laughs> fit my needs. <laughs> Of all the ways you could have put that, you said fit my needs. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I just wanted to get you one that you know uh, fit better. Um, it's to scale because you're, you're short. <laughs> <laughs> That's, it's to scale. Oh fuck. Oh. You know what? Now I'm gonna feel less bad about what I got you, bitch. <laughs> That's kind of what I was thinking. Okay, cool, cool. <laughs> oh. oh my god. If you see me, like, rubbing my nose or my eyes... Um, it's because he has COVID and he's an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. I don't care for uh, vaccinations. Or, I'm kidding. I should stop whoa, before whoa. I... <laughs> I should stop before So how did we get here? Yeah. <laughs> um, but, like, just some allergies because it's pretty cold out. And, uh, well. yeah. So, just 
thought I acknowledged that. But uh, anyways, now it's your turn. I didn't wrap the gifts, um, but they're all in here. So uh, <laughs> I think it's like scarier having to have me reach into a backpack. <laughs> I won't have you reach. I'll just hand it no, to no, you. No, no, no. I can, I can. I mean, it's your call. Nah, it's I don't want to just fine, reach into fine. your backpack, but at the same time, I don't mind doing it. I just didn't want to look like a... You can stop talking at any <laughs> yeah, point. <honestly. laughs> but as as everyone knows and as I know, um, you're big, you're really big into uh, astrology, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. You love Shut up. Yeah. Shut up. Nah, just, stop. Um, just stop it. I got you a candle with your sign. <laughs> it's a fucking Sagittarius. <laughs> That's not you. It's not my sign. <laughs> I think I like it better. <laughs> stop, what, what's your sign? I'm not going to say it out loud. <laughs> okay, you can bleep it. All of what's, the, what's your sign? It's, it's a Libra. Okay, fuck. <laughs> I, have, I got all 12. So just <laughs> no fucking way. Um, Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> no way. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. There's no way. So, uh, there's your candle with your <laughs> sign. <laughs> what the fuck? And, um, damn it. I really thought that was good. So, I, <laughs> I, me I messed up that gift, but, um, so I actually do have a backup gift that is, like, pretty foolproof that, like, every dude will enjoy this. So, uh, <laughs> shut up. No, it's fine. It's legit. It's legit. Um, <laughs> I got two Legos. That's actually kind of cool. Yeah. Here, here, here. Like, yeah, that's yeah. like... He kind of... He looks funny. Yeah. They, they give him like a mecha build. Tiny ass head, but like... Yeah. It's empty. <laughs> <laughs> you ass. It's empty. <laughs> because I built it for you already. Oh, my God. <laughs> so you don't that's have to crazy. go through the that's... trouble of building it. That's the whole point of Legos. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Here I, have, you go. I have no words. <laughs> yeah, I'm just that thoughtful, man. I got it out of the way for you, so it's all just like you can put it wherever you want and you don't have to worry about pieces or, you know. Thanks, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> Uh, oh, you can leave that there. Let me put this. Let me put this candle back with all the others. Can I see the backpack? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> you actually. <laughs> you, you, <laughs> you like it? <laughs> it's it, it's it's great. Yeah. Yeah. You can uh, just put it wherever you want. I got all the dirty work out of the way for you. It's. I mean. Sure. Yeah. Do you even like Captain America? He's all right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think he's like... Is what it is. He's mid. Yeah. He's mid. Okay. It's like... It's not bad. It's just like a basic take to be like, oh, yeah, I love Captain America. It is a pretty basic take. Yeah. I think it, coming from you, if you were like a Captain America fanboy, I would find that a little suspicious. Yeah, that was the other thing I was going to say. Yeah. Damn, my dog's going crazy. Yeah, how did they follow us Yo, here? Yo, how did... Yeah. Whose dogs are those? Yeah, that's crazy. What if we're just, like, in a location where n literally no dog would ever be? Just <laughs> Down the middle of the woods. Oh, my God, it's <laughs> yeah. a fucking wolf. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Um, Let me change that real quick. <gasps> now we're in an <laughs> office. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Unless that didn't pick up, but like, <laughs> no, it, <laughs> heard doors. I'm sure it probably picked up a little bit, but okay. But. Um, what do we have to go to next? Man, um, a lot of things happened over yeah. the past uh, month and a half. I still feel like months. I'm like shaking off some rust. You know? Yeah, a little bit. But, um, I feel like we started yeah. off strong. You know, like, I feel loosey goosey. Yeah, I'm never well, gonna was, say that again. My uh, wow. My caucus gene just yeah. came out, you know. It's like the white dad coming out of me. That's it's that was brighter than these lights, like. Yeah, you know. like almost luminescent. Yeah. Um, you're you're so white. You're clear. Pretty much. <laughs> um, but 
I just yeah. like fade into the background. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> literally, we we change the background, but it literally doesn't look. Uh, why are you sitting next to somebody invisible? Like, why yeah. are you sitting next to a pile of clothes? Damn. So that John Cena meme. Um, yeah, we're out of it. But um, what do dudes talk about you, man? See, the problem with women. <laughs> See, <laughs> the thing is, bro. Like, honestly, women just like they always be saying yeah. something about like, you know. Why does it always have to be our fault when this happens? Like, why does it always have to be our fault that you guys are mad? Yeah. Like, why is it? I am convinced periods aren't real. <laughs> <laughs> so, for anybody who's confused. Um, <laughs> yeah, clear the air, oh, please. Yeah, yeah, please. yeah. Before we keep the doing the bit <laughs> so that it doesn't sound like we just started going on a random rant, uh, there's been, like, a joke online, which uh, not taken, like, I didn't take offense to it. It was like, which is a bad way to start anything <laughs> that when, you, <laughs> yeah. when you're trying not to sound offended to say, I'm not offended, but like, yeah, no, I found it funny because they're like dudes starting a podcast and it's always about like, misogyny. let's talk about like sex and misogyny yeah. Yeah. and, it's, you know, just yeah. objectifying women. And there was that one uh, video from the podcast. I forget what their name was, was but you said that you were... Fresh and fit. Fresh and fit. Those he, motherfuckers. He only knows because, not because he's an avid fan, which maybe he is. No. Um, <laughs> no. Don't, don't you put that on me. But it's because he saw one of them on Omegle one time. Weirdly enough. Yeah, I know it sounds odd. It, it's either one of them or like uh, someone who works on the show because this did happen. And um, they were asking me just like these weird, weird, awkward dating questions about like, the roles that each person plays and it's like isn't it crazy how men always have to pay and like they're always giving they're always giving and it's and sometimes a girl won't even give it up after and it's just like well i was like in a really awkward spot because like they kind of gave you like weird directed questions almost yeah. like those like debate lords like uh steven crowder or like somebody where they're going to go out and they're going to ask you questions in mm. ways that kind of direct you towards answering the way they want you to. Yeah. Like where yeah. even if you answer against them, they're going to kind of like turn it a little bit so that yeah. you kind of give like a weird backwards way. Cuz yeah, exactly. Like we are we think polar opposites. We think like polar opposites about um how that situation would ever go down. And then he kept like trying to inch me towards it like like um answering in a way that puts women down and it was just got awkward to a point where he sort of like gave up um and then he was just like all right well yeah yeah check out check out uh where to like find us and like mm. and then he put it in the chat and it was fresh and fit and like i never bothered looking it up but like when it popped up on that tiktok i was like oh my god it's the guy those are the guys and it was just a weird moment because like it's These are the motherfuckers that... that got popular for, like, talking down on... Honestly, they don't even sound like they like women. Like, it's just... It's... Yeah, it is weird. Like, they get so defensive. It, it kind of reminds me of when, like, the super straight thing kind of popped up on TikTok. Mm. It's, like, dudes who are so... So far into the whole incel thing mm -hmm. that it's just, like, do you really even... Yeah. The fact that you have to really pronounce how straight you are gives me the vibe that, like, yeah. you're not confident in your sexuality at all. Yeah. It feels like you're overcompensating like crazy. Yeah. Um, it's like... The fact that you also saw them self-promoing on Omegle is also what was funny to me because it's yeah. such a, like, sad... Uh, I'm not going to say it's totally sad because I'm also thinking maybe we should do the same thing. Because, <laughs> I mean, hey, look, they got yeah. a platform. They had, like... Yeah. Because the clip I'm I was going to sure talk they about, had a platform already. It was just like getting more out there. And like, yeah, I'm pretty sure. I think he, this might have been another guy. Like I was on Amigo for a long time mm -hmm. that day. But it might have been another guy, like saying he was also like streaming and asking a bunch of questions. I was like, Ugh. true. Yeah, I just think that like a lot of people might have. Mm. Because the clip I was talking about was from them, and essentially he had DJ Ack. And I think it's his baby mom, but she was like an Instagram model that was really popular. I, I want to say her name, and if I can't think of it uh, out loud, I think it's like Brittany something. 
Um, Renner, potentially, Renner. if it's the right person. Um, I'll put, like, the actual name up on the screen for the visual audience, but, you know, for the actual podcast audience, sorry, sorry we'll, you'll have to kind of figure it out, too. Um, but she was a really big Instagram model for a while. Like, I remember in high school, people talking about her. <laughs> and she went on there because that podcast was like talking crazy about her i guess uh-huh. they would say stuff like oh you know you're just some basic you know thought you're some basic bitch just saying like real nasty like um, just like generic insults mm-hmm. but just to bring her down mm-hmm. and she went on their podcast and kind of snapped on them essentially what she kind of got into for the most part was like oh, hey, like, what do you guys get out of bringing down women by saying, like, oh, you're not special because mm-hmm. are you special? And dude started stuttering like crazy. He was like, well, uh, the, uh, I never said I am. And he's like, she's like, well, I feel good when I call you a basic-ass dude. Yeah. Uh, like, you're lame as fuck, and this whole show is lame as fuck, and I feel good saying that, so I know that you're doing the same thing. Mm. And it was good to see because, honestly, you know, the amount of, like, disrespect you can throw out is crazy. And to have that kind of a platform for an audience of people who probably feel the same way, it's just, it's good to see when they get called out on some shit. Um, But I also realized that that kind of became a meme because I also see podcasts pop up all over TikTok that are similar in some way. Mm. That was a prime example, but there's so many out there. It's just... It's, uh, we, we, the last thing we want to be is that. Like, yeah. Like, That's what I was terrified is they see two dudes on a bench and we're trying to get like social interaction and stuff. And the people we attract. Are just uh, Yeah. I'm scared that they're going to think that we're like a Steven Crowder where it's yeah. like, oh, we're not, come debate like, me type we're thing. Dude bros just like, see, um, a, see a key that unlocks many locks. <laughs> Good key. Yeah. But a lock that lets any key unlock it is a bad lock. It's a bad lock. It's like that. It's dude. It makes fucking sense yeah. because the key is like a stick, you know. I and then the lock is like a hole, like a vagina. <laughs> yeah. I hate women that don't give it up uh, easily, but I also hate women that give it up easily. I don't think yeah. you like women. Yeah, <laughs> honestly. Uh, I just think that they like having control in a relationship, mm-hmm. and they like being the one that's allowed to do a bunch of shit, but they don't want to be with the woman who also has done a bunch of shit. Mm -hmm. Meaning like, oh, hey, I can go out and fuck all these people and my background doesn't matter. But if I figured out like you fucked like five dudes before me, Mm -hmm. oh, that's such a big deal. Oh, that's terrible. It's like, honestly, at this point, everybody is fucking. Mm -hmm. And if your girl is saying like, oh, I, I fucked like three dudes, um, and that bothers you, mm-hmm. what's the likelihood that maybe she didn't, you know, and I keep saying fuck, that's like a generic term, so I'm not trying to sound like <laughs> them because I, yeah. I feel like I'm starting to edge yeah. that way. Um, when females fuck, no, I'm, just- <laughs> I'm just saying like, if you make such a big deal out of it, who's to say they're not going to be comfortable telling you the truth and mm-hmm. then you get mad later when you figure out, oh, there were like more dudes that she dated or yeah. like... Because first off, the idea of just getting mad at somebody for having a past is so stupid, especially if you have a past. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know. I I think that is dumb to try and... It's a lot of arguments that they make that I can't just go into every single one. But that one specifically where it's like, it shows that there's uh, there's a double standard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. If you got to complain about like, oh, I buy all this other stuff. It's like, did you try being interesting? Did you try being funny? Oh, oh. Did you did you try being attractive? Oh. Because that part probably wasn't there. And if that part's not there, you gotta go to the other two. Try to be funny, try to be entertaining in some way. Because money can only do so much. That's why we Elon do this Musk podcast. is a fucking billionaire and what's his what's her name? Didn't his like baby mama leave him? Grimes? Yeah. Yeah. It's like money can only do so much. So when you complain about like, oh, I bought them everything. It's like, shut the fuck up, dude. Yeah. She can find another dude with money. whoop de doo Another person with money. Mm. Anyways. Yeah. yeah. So I just, just wanted to clarify, we are not them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we are. <laughs> yeah. We ain't one of them. Yeah. 
We love our females. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> so you know what? Maybe. You... <laughs> yeah. uh, so how about that Omicron? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not the thing you were mentioning. Like, as soon as they stop the misogyny, they have no idea what the fuck to talk about. Yeah, yeah. Damn, you can man. only COVID's trash kinda... women for so long. <laughs> COVID's kind of going crazy, man. Yeah, man. That's nuts. Uh, it's nuts. Uh, <laughs> I still ain't got the vaccine though because I don't want my nuts to shrink. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They said it makes you infertile. Damn. You think those same dudes wouldn't want that, though? I know, like, yeah. Because then they're like, oh, if, if it's my kid, I, fuck it, I'm leaving. It's like, yeah. bro, so why? Uh, anyways, I'm making hypotheticals now. I'm doing what they do. Yeah. So Getting angry. <laughs> getting angry at <laughs> something that they didn't actually say. <laughs> Who is they? <laughs> oh, shit. What do you mean by that? No, but, um. Deconstructionism. Yeah. Oh, man. We're back in the swing of things, I guess. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, back in the the man random switching. Yeah, but now that we are back, we could talk about what happened over the break. Yeah, I think that's what we were originally trying to do. Yeah, sorry about not getting to that yet, but um. So with there being the absolute shitload of news that happened, um, I think it would be a solid start to just run through it like a speed round. We kind of talked about this off cam. Um, where we bring up a topic and give like a one word response to all of the news type stories that we can think of. Uh, did you get a list of them down? I don't have too many things. Like I'm sure there, there's definitely going to be some things that we could have talked about and I missed. So yeah. apologies, but, um, I'm definitely in the same boat. I think I have some on my mind, but I definitely didn't get the chance to write any, uh, sorry, let me find some it. of these people are going to be like, wow, that was so long ago. So fucking yeah. outdated. Yeah. But we didn't get to talk about any of it. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Spider-Man. Amazing. No pun intended. Pun intended, actually. <laughs> <laughs> take that back. No, take that back, actually. I did intend for that, that, that pun. Shit was, that shit was nice. <laughs> <laughs> Don't compliment your own. <laughs> That shit was actually crazy. That shit, that shit was like, crazy. That shit was fucking nuts, yeah. bro. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> Betty White. Uh, sad. Sorry to like bring yeah. that back down to earth. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Sad. Yeah. I didn't really know much about Betty White, so Aww. like I kind of knew who she was and I knew of her, but like. Mm-hmm. I didn't have that same like connection to like, oh my god, Betty White died. Like, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. I mean, she's just. She Shout was out to Zach sh- Fox for uh, yeah, you know, putting that shit out there. <laughs> she R. ain't R. dead Betty yet. But. <laughs> <laughs> she ain't dead yet, but it's, it's gonna happen. <laughs> um, Bob Saget. Uh, that was sad, especially just because of like when it happened and where it happened. Yeah. Um. For that one, I'd say, uh, I'm morally questioned because I did read up about like the things about him and stuff after the fact. Yeah. yeah. When I say sad, I mean like in I, terms of just like a a nostalgic connection because mm-hmm. I like grew up on Full House. Yeah. It's not really in the sense of like, oh my god, we lost this amazing person. I'd say I not to like offend the Saget family <laughs> but mm. i would say um it hurts more to lose Danny Tanner e- yeah that's kind of where i'm at too well wow. um so definitely i agree yeah don fm amazing i can't use the same one again yeah. uh pun cream isn't even a pun. What? <laughs> Cr- Don't look at cream. me and say cream. We're not bringing... This can't be bringing brought back into season two. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> no, I, um, I listened to Don FM on the way to... Uh, on a trip to Georgia with my girlfriend. Oh, yeah. Let's talk um, about our trips. Our uh, breaks as well. Yeah, definitely. We'll, we'll talk about that in a second. Um, it was amazing. How long were you there? Just... Uh, it was supposed to be like a whole weekend 
and we stayed one night and left the next day because we were worried about like weather. I but see. I'll get into that. Sure, sure. Um, gonna <sighs> mid mid, <laughs> and I P. hate the word mid p p. <laughs> you think that should be? <laughs> oh man. <sighs> um. So how about Ukraine's border crisis? <laughs> Not be. <laughs> <laughs> Not be. <pee. laughs> Let's play uh, a new game on this show. <laughs> pee or, pee not or not be. Pee. Oh my god, that's gonna be outdated as Ew. fuck one day. Oh. You are gonna be going back, and it's like, uh, it's like when I just started watching like old TMG shit, and they're yeah. like, they're talking about uh, what would it be like, Jake Paul and the, the shit that they did. With like uh, the Jeff's Barber Shop, yeah, yeah, and then we yeah, make yeah. jokes about like Lele Pons and like Instagram influencers, and it's like, bro, like yeah. I, nowadays that feels outdated. Yeah, uh, but um, um, nice. Jinx. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I wrote this down. I don't know if you were familiar with this little TikTok series, but do you know the person who is doing? What a Wonderful World, letter by letter, on TikTok? I have no idea, no. Really? You poor thing. Well, I guess I could show you, because it might not be a big thing to a general public, but to me, it means it was everything. so much. Because, yeah. yeah, it's something I had been waiting on to be done for, like, a while. Um, and it finally completed? Yeah. Um, Is that letter by letter? Yeah, hold on. I have to find it, but... So, I'll send it to you so you can put it up on the screen, but... Okay. Hey, guys. This is my cover of Louis Armstrong's What a Wonderful World. You might have to mute it. But just the S's. Maybe. Oh. <laughs> Just the dead staring. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> so is there like a big compilation of it just all together? I'll let this roll out and then I'll show you. Okay, I'm just getting too ahead. Yeah. She looks like she's fucking crying. <laughs> she's like... Thank you. Oh, she did. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> um, here it is. The finale where she finished up. Or actually, I think I've seen somebody do edit where like they tried to add to it. Okay. And make like a chain. Really? Okay. I won't show the fin. There, there. I'll show you. I'll, you'll know why. But here's the letter before the last one. This is, my cover. This is where she ended up. You can see the disgust in Colin's face. Happened. So I'll show you <laughs> what <laughs> what happened. I think we skipped a few chapters. <laughs> yeah. Yo. So you see, like we're about halfway through. Mm. She's getting a little more deranged. Okay, so it just slowly <laughs> evolved to that. <laughs> and then, beautifully, you see. You, you, did you notice like the glove? The glove mm -hmm. sort of pulling her. She was she was her own glove. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. 
joy in, in you. <laughs> World. Oh. I'll explain the genius of it <laughs> after. Wow. You have to so send me the, all three of those. Yeah. So the idea of her um, driving herself into madness because, like, the way TikTok sort of works is if one person has one good thing going for them, they'll run it into the ground mm -hmm. and drive themselves crazy. And, like, she built up this whole hype about the reveal of who who's doing this to her and it's herself because that's the thing that is going popular on her page and like like nothing else was working and it's just like there was no reason for a story but she turned it into something yeah it became like a meta commentary yeah the tiktok app yeah that's crazy as fuck actually right wow I really just thought that she had a psycho break. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> oh um, yeah, and she has like these... Uh, I'll have to send you another one, but like... Um, she had this like s little side series where she hypes up like the reveal. Okay. You might have to... So she shows off that she's the one with the glove. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Kind of giving me like Joker vibes. Yeah. Cause it was like <laughs> the letter. It was like really unsettling the first letter she did, mm -hmm. and like she did the whole makeup thing and like all oh, it. I see. Yeah. I, I followed this whole series from beginning to end. Um, the algorithm got me through, like, the first 13 letters, and then I eventually followed her. And wow. So, like... <laughs> how did I miss that? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. how. I should have sent it to you, but, like, I figured maybe it showed up on his, and I don't need to keep him updated. No, I hadn't seen yeah. anything about that. Oh, my God. I just wanted to give her her credit because... My one word response is, wow. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. I'll say wonderful because that's the song she was. Uh, 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 that shit was sick. <laughs> <laughs> you ass. <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, I'll send you all these and stuff. But like, hmm. that's um, as far as like news things. Um, if we want to delve deeper into individual things, we can. But that's all I really got. Yeah. Um, there's definitely more that I missed. Quick, um, big headlines. Yeah. Um, I'm definitely but, trying to think. I mean, we could talk about what happened to us over break. Um, yeah. You know, we, we could. Um, mine's definitely not, you know, as uh, uh, long as yours was. It was a three-day weekend. Um, Give or take. So essentially, all that really happened, uh, it was my girlfriend's birthday. Uh, like I said, right after Christmas is her birthday. So we kind of like limit Christmas so that I can go crazy on birthdays. <laughs> um, which actually kind of makes it fun when it, we are doing gifts because mm. then I can kind of cheat on her Christmas gift. <laughs> uh, yeah. That Christmas gift part was crucial to the sentence. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, but anyways, I can... Hmm, I'm going to make that a clip and then cut, <laughs> just the, cut the last part out, you ass. <laughs> you actual dick. Um, so I can kind of cheat in terms of how much I spend on the Christmas gift because then if it goes over, I can be like, well, it, 
it's kind of your birthday gift too. Mm. <laughs> okay. Oh. Um, I've done that before. Nice. Um, not cheating, but cheating on the <laughs> <laughs> gift. Um, Thank you for keeping. Uh, for so uh, t- yeah. <laughs> it's like uh, what's his name? So the guy you on TikTok. Before the guy on TikTok who always like duet stuff, but he's like nervous and sweaty as hell. I forget what I know. Name. I know you're talking about. Yeah. That's like what I'm getting to. Haha. <laughs> it's a um, uh, yeah. It, yeah. <laughs> yeah um, yeah. no. We essentially took a trip up to Georgia, and the drive was basically most of the trip because it was mm-hmm. five hours there, five hours back, and we stayed there one night, and then we kind of went out to one of the state parks there. Mm-hmm. Um, it was really nice, like really pretty. The cabin we got was amazing, nice. um, and it was the first time I had driven on mountains. Ah, because interesting to. To give an idea uh, to people who don't live in Florida, essentially, like, if you've ever played Minecraft, like, we, we live on the super flat setting, right? <laughs> this is the example. And when you go everywhere else, you're in a default world, right? Yeah. So everything elsewhere has, like, hills and mountains and all sorts of shit. Maybe there's some plains, you know, out in the Midwest and stuff that are kind of similar to what we are. Yeah. But... I mean, there's no hills in Florida, and if there are, I mean, it's probably man-made or just very subtle. Mm-hmm. We have beaches. Yeah, we have a lot of beach. Yeah. I mean, that's literally like 90% of our state. Yeah. Um, beaches and oranges. And I don't even think we have that many oranges. I mean, like probably down south, because I think that's where they mostly yeah. farm it. But like beaches, up here, we're basically oranges, Georgia. Um, crack... <laughs> yeah. yeah that's weird. Yeah. um that's actually interesting because i did watch a documentary about like uh the opioid crisis and a lot of it had to mm-hmm. do with the highway that i was actually driving on nice um to get there you take i-75 and like i said the drive was most of the trip basically yeah and it was terrifying <laughs> i can imagine yeah um see there's a lot of times where i'll go to like some historic towns in Florida and all that, and they'll have like a giant American flag waving. But never have I once seen like one of those giant flagpoles, and it's a Confederate flag. Oh, cool! I mean, nice. huge. Yeah, just on the side of the highway, and I was like, oh shit! <laughs> I I got terrified. I was like, yo, <laughs> this was still in Florida. This wasn't even Georgia yet. Oh, you didn't even make it. Oh, I didn't even make it out of state yeah. yet. Um. But driving there was nice for the most part. Um, it was scary, but we just kind of got straight there. Uh, and like I said, it was the first time I had driven in mountains. And I probably got stopped by a train like four or five times. And I'm pretty sure it was like the same train. Because once we got oh, really? to the mountain, uh-huh. it was just like our road would intersect with this train track. like Just weaving. Times. And I was like, and why the fuck yeah. would you do that? That does. <laughs> that's just very like, yeah. <laughs> I was getting so sick because I got stopped by the same train like twice. And then there were like a few times where I would drive next to it. And I was like, I'm going to get stopped again. Mm-hmm. Um, but like I said, we got there. It was great. Uh, we got some pictures. The National Park was beautiful. Mm. Um, we did get a little spooked out because we watched too many horror movies. And there were definitely some red flags about the cabin. I told um, you it was a bad idea. Yeah, it was... It was weird, but I, I think it was innocent. Okay. There were, like, yeah. little things. Like, it was three cabins next to each other. They were all just separated by a wall. <laughs> and then there were doors that led to the the other cabin. Mm-hmm. But there's two doors so that you can lock each one. Mm-hmm. I think the idea behind it is that if you rent out two cabins next to each other and have, like, a big family, yeah. you can have, like, just one giant cabin, essentially, just yeah, separated yeah. by a wall problem was my door the lock was broken so oh i was a little <laughs> i was a little terrified <laughs> i was like yeah i was like i'm gonna keep an eye open <laughs> yeah uh but overall it was real pretty we had a good time drove back early not because of that even though that should have been probably one of the main reasons yeah. <laughs> uh but the main reason we head back early was because we didn't realize it was supposed to pour that Sunday that we were supposed to leave. Mm. And it was also like 
40, getting to like the mid 30s. Someone up and north is just like, Pfft. yeah, that's nothing. That's called summer. <laughs> For me, that screamed, there may be ice. And yeah. if not, it's also just pouring rain. And I don't know how to drive in rain on a mountain. And I also don't know how to drive with ice. Yeah. yeah I mean, you really can't drive on ice. And I didn't want to have to pay for an extra night and stay in the murder cabin. Uh, <laughs> but we essentially just left the night that we were supposed, like the last night we were supposed to stay, we just left at night. Mm. Um, and, you know, we got home fine. It was just, it felt so long because instead of like going out the whole day and we're, you know, enjoying the park and everything mm. and then going to bed and then going fresh in the morning. It was like we went through the park and did all that, and then right afterwards drove for five more hours. And I was Jeez, like, Ugh. Uh, But overall, it was a fun trip. It was nice because it was like Good. the first time we actually like got away together. Good. Um, yeah. It's typically always like with a family trip or something, so it like made me feel like a mm. grown-up for once. Nice. Yeah. That's what's up. And now I'm back to being a little bitch baby. Yeah. Um, so that was my... Th- Three day trip. Damn it. You know what should have happened? We should have, and then you should have been, we should have just been in front of a cabin. <laughs> True. Oh, well. If There's you like want, a bear you behind us. Just, like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, but um, now we're in New York where I went. Oh my God. Damn. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah. So um, uh, that's the whole uh, reason the season uh, came to an end. I went to go visit family. Um, specifically in Brooklyn, um, because of uh, the Omarion World Tour. Um, Omarion going crazy. You know, yeah. I didn't know who Omarion was until the jokes came out. Really? Like, I had heard some of his songs, like, in the Musical.ly era. <laughs> you know what I knew him from? I knew him from um, America's Best Dance Crew. He was a judge. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, Man. yeah I, I had never heard of him, and... Yeah. It wasn't until people started making the jokes that I was like, oh, I remember hearing some of his songs yeah. sometime before. Mm-hmm. But yeah. shout out America's Best Dance Crew. Shout out uh, Quest Crew. Uh, um, Those are your boys? Jabberwockies. Yeah, I know them all. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah I know all the Jabberwockies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Duh. Yeah. 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 We, we go out. I got my feet out. Yeah, yeah. 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 Get we get food. food. <laughs> yeah. I'm one of them. What? Oh. <laughs> But, so um, you're the really short one. <laughs> <laughs> you remember the baby one? Yeah, that was that me. Was just like a, <laughs> I, I ran that whole show for like a few years. <laughs> That's funny. So <laughs> I say, bust out some moves. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, so I went to New York. wasn't able to do much um, outside of just be with family, which is completely fine. Like it's been long enough since I've seen them all, and. Uh, Overall, it was just like, it was just fun catching up, you know, spending Christmas and New Year's with them. Um, I got this this Apple Watch. That was a gift. Yeah, I was about to say, um, this is the first time where I don't have my watch and you actually have Damn. one. What a shame. Because, excuse me. <laughs> I, thought, I thought you were I having an emotional moment. <laughs> yeah, like you were just like. Choking ah. up. <laughs> Sorry. No, I was. I missed that watch. <laughs> air bubble. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I was gonna say what time is twelve eighteen? Okay, cool, cool, cool. but um, uh, you gotta check in every once in a while so we don't, yeah. you know, run crazy. I realize that I really can't read analog that well because <laughs> yeah. my, like they asked me one time, "Hey, what time is it?" And then it's like swipe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you gotta change it, but. It turned off as you oh, did. It's a good job. <laughs> <laughs> it tilts it away so it thinks that you're like not looking anymore that's actually funny as fuck though yeah. <laughs> i do man. like that it was supposed to be <laughs> man it's just the display i might oh, steal no. that idea <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, um, no i keep one of the put a picture actually make it <laughs> i'll oh send you God. a picture of these. yeah <laughs> definitely it's just gonna be in the back <laughs> yeah i like that yeah um but yeah so, Boy looking clean, got the Apple Watch. Let me change it back to my a, a quick little David Dobrik or whatever. 
I think I think there was a joke that like he buys all his friends like Teslas and Apple Watches and stuff. <laughs> you got yourself a, a dope brick, you know what I'm saying? Adobe. No. Oh, okay. Yeah. Don't do that. <laughs> you pick it up and it's just fucking cracked. <laughs> it literally I was, the sound made me a little freaked out. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, my break was fun. Um you got stuck indoors. Yeah, honestly. I mean, and it didn't even really snow until like the last day I was there. Mm. Um, I actually hadn't really seen snow um, before that. Well, yeah, it was good. Like I, my mom actually uh, got me with a snowball and I fell on my ass. <laughs> like legit. I was, I was literally like trying oh. to take a picture or take a video of my brothers like playing. And then she, she, I saw her winding up. So I like turned to like, I turned to like get out of the way, but she got me in the back and I turned too fast that I slipped on the ice under my feet and then I like fell on my ass and then I sort of just fell on my back too. Just like, did this really happen? And it really happened. You just had to accept it, you know? Yeah. My mom is like 4'2". And (laughs) she (laughs) belted me with you on your ass. She put me on my ass. She's just trying to let you know, you know, who who still runs shit, you know? Yeah. 4'2 is just like here. Yeah. (laughs) But <laughs> she's like, you know, you may have gotten taller than me, yeah. but you know, I yeah, that just uh, means you're a bigger target. S- still got four, four foot two of punishment. I don't know. I didn't want to say it without it sounding weird, but now it sounds weird. <laughs> <laughs> don't talk about my mom like that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> four foot two of punishment. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> so we could jump topics. <laughs> um, so I actually wanted to out your family because, <laughs> oh uh, yeah, Devin had Freaking sent me nuts, videos uh, during the break, and I'm sitting here like, you know, what what is he up to? Because he's yeah, just, yeah. Uh, you know, sitting at home. He's snowed in or not snowed in, but just stuck in, in with COVID. Yeah. Um, like you we know, none of us got COVID. I don't even know if they had like a new mayor or anything because what's his name was gone for being yucky. Oh yeah, Ew. quick one word thought on Cuomo. <laughs> Political talk. <laughs> Cuomo, no mo, no mo. <laughs> nice. Cuomo, no mo. Um, but you know he's sitting inside. He doesn't have anything to do. And then he sends me a picture of like somebody playing GTA, and I'm like, "Hey, what platform?" Like, I, I'm trying to play. Mm. You know, I got mm. I got GTA on my mm. PC. And he's like, "Ah, you know, it, it's not PC." He sends me the video, and it's a PS5, and I was like, "Ah, damn, that's fine, you know, whatever." And then he's like, "Actually, there's um, you want to know you want to know <laughs> something nuts? Crazy? Uh, there's <laughs> there's more of them. <laughs> more of what?" <laughs> sends me another video. There are like three PS5s lined up with each other. Yeah. Yeah. And so I have you yeah. You want to carry on or I I let I want to hear from you like how many exactly are there in the house? 5 5, five yeah. Five. Um so let me explain. Um it is somehow. Yeah. But um so I have three three little brothers. Um they have a playroom three PS5s in that room that I showed Colin, one for each of them. Mm. And then my stepdad has one in the master bedroom for him. So they could all be on at the same time. Mm -hmm. And then there's also one in the living room. And you're looking at me and And, like... And where was this house again? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, just, you know, out of curiosity. Dude, I was just as shocked when I saw like the their <laughs> gaming room. It was just like you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, it's like, how did you acquire this? Because it's not even like, oh, like, look at these expensive consoles that I bought. Mm-hmm. It's like, how did you get your hands on five PS5s? Yeah. I'm trying to get one. <laughs> yeah, like it, even if the price, like. It, it's like even at that price point, people are trying to just get their hands on them. It's not mm. the fact of like, you know, it's not like if you have like five gaming PCs and you're like, oh my God, that's got to be like seven yeah. grand. Yeah. It's like, how the fuck did you get yeah. your hands on those? Those are like shorted right now. Like, yeah. It's, it was nuts. What was that? Did you just like kick the. No, my foot slid. Oh, I was like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> My fault. Your your face just moved. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
That's too distracting. Anyway. <laughs> okay, cool. Now I'm it's my I can ima- <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I can imagine in like clips, like, the clips that I make where it's not like acknowledged. <laughs> you yeah. You were like, like, what the fuck is happening? My face in the background. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, I didn't even think of that. I think, That's it'll, so I think it'll add a, a tension for sure. Yeah. Oh, um, shit. So it's your face right now. It's can it be like the contact pic that I have for you? <laughs> just like the sure. I was thinking about just taking a picture and making fun of your picture and just doing the exact same thing. Oh. But if you want to do the contact picture, we could do that. I think it's better out there. Yeah. <laughs> but you were saying. Um. I don't remember. It was just five yeah. PS fives, five, fucking, like thousand dollar consoles, mm. all under the same roof. One for each person, and then my mom, who doesn't even use one, could have one or for herself. Just like, yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. You know, next time, just uh, you know, feel free to drop an address so that I can you know come through. I'll book a flight. <laughs> <laughs> but um, you know what's even nuttier? Like, what's even nuttier? Me, what? No, um, what? <laughs> oh my god, we didn't get to do the thing. We gotta Damn go to Wawa after we this. We have to go to Wawa. There's so, cakesters. There's, um, they brought back the Oreo cakesters cake. and then they brought in, like you said, the Nutter Butter cakester. And I'm sitting there like, no fucking way. Dude. I have to try the Nutter Butter yeah. one. Yeah, we're going to Wawa after. Yeah, but, for sure. <laughs> yeah, we're just making lunch plans real quick. But. <laughs> <laughs> On the pod. Yeah. I, I mean, that's how this shit goes, anyways. Yeah. But, anyways. What's crazy is my brothers are like, like they're all two years apart. So I think they're like six, eight, and ten, five, mm-hmm. seven, nine, something like that. Yeah, they're five, seven, and nine, and they all have a PlayStation to themselves. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Because that's the other crazy thing is like family consoles. Their consoles were really meant to be like gaming machines for a family to share. Yeah, and sadly. The video games on those consoles don't necessarily make it that easy. Mm -hmm. So it's not like every game that you want to play has like a party mode. Yeah. So I understand it, but it is weird just to see how the gaming industry kind of had like shifted away from that idea Mm -hmm. to some regards. Like it's not like they wanted to play split screen and just get like a big TV. They said, nah, let's get separate consoles. Nah. And they all have their own TV too. And like, so it's just went nuts. I mean, like, they're spoiled. Okay, I, I'll say that, yeah. Yeah, but it's okay. They're good kids. I love them. That's all that matters. Yeah. At least if, like, you spoil your kids, you also got to humble them to some extent. Yeah. Because, like, for the most part, I don't want to, like, talk about myself. But, like, I know that I, I've had it easy. hmm And, like, if I just sat back and was, like, if somebody told me that I was one of those, like, annoying rich kids... I'd probably off myself. So, mm-hmm. you know, I feel like you kind of have to be humble to some extent. Because even when I was spoiled, at least my parents would kind of like bring me down a notch and be like, yeah, but like. Oh, I, I so. bully my brothers to no end. Like, uh, Yeah, make fun of them. Like, like what sucks is. You know what's uh, crazy? I grew up eating fucking rocks. <laughs> yeah. And you are playing on five Playstations. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just start like making that up shit that didn't sounds happen. Sounds so wild. The second half is true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the <laughs> I think it's like you make up some shit that didn't actually happen, but mm. it's believable enough to them to where they're like, "Holy shit!" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mom, you made you made Devin run laps around the yard every day. <laughs> yeah. You made Devin walk to Publix to get. The <laughs> yeah. They don't even know what Publix is, do they? Oh my god, they don't know what Publix is. <laughs> they don't know what Publix Ew. is. That's so fucking weird. I didn't even think about that. Bro. Um, to anybody who doesn't know what Publix is, uh, it's probably the best thing to come out of the South, honestly. Yeah, it's um, a great store. Grocery store. It's, it's great. A pub sub is the best part of the trip. I think pub subs are fine. I think there's f- they're fine. At best. I think that there's probably places who make subs that can make them better. But like, out of all the places that we have here, mm-hmm. it's a lot of like chain stuff, like Subway, uh, Firehouse. Um, well, <laughs> uh, well, we we have friends that work at Firehouse. Yeah, 
Um, so I won't I won't mention Firehouse too much. Uh, just out of respect for them. And then there's yeah. Jersey Mike's, and then uh, I'm yeah. sure there's like a few other places. Chain, but we chain have like, places. We have like five sub places, and then there's Publix. And it's like out of all those other places, all those other places are good. You know how you let the grocery store compete with y'all? I think that the grocery store not only competes, but I think that for the most part they're more solid because mm. they have like better deli meats. Listen, talk about the subs all you want, but Publix chicken is like that's the go-to. Oh yeah, yeah. You can't mm. sleep on Publix wings. Uh, even like the rotisseries are solid. Yeah, uh, we used to get those and like cut those up for dinner. <laughs> um, but like their fried chicken, the wings, I mean, everything is yeah. on point. Damn. The chicken tender sub is top notch. Do you want to go to Publix? It's Publix up. instead? They probably have the cakesters. We can live. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's it. <laughs> Lunch yeah. plans again. Yeah, that's absolutely. all this is. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Honestly, but. we don't have a fucking plan for these podcasts. So it ends up just being whatever comes up. What were we talking about before? Was it the PlayStation oh. thing? Yeah, oh, we were talking about the New thing. York trip. It was. Kind of makes me mad that my oldest, youngest brother, so mm. the nine-year-old, um, is better than me at COD and is better than me at Rocket League. <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean... He would rock both of us in a two-on-one. I would at least hope that if you have five PlayStations, <laughs> at least they're good at it. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Like, at least hopefully they play it enough to where they're like, yeah, but like... Oh, they played enough I'm to where it's fuck. like worth it, like... It, they're not like they're not just letting it rot away. Like, yeah. But yeah. Stepdad, uh, they'd be just wasting money. That's an investment yeah. right there. No. Like if the moment that they're like, yeah, you know what? I'm not really feeling the PlayStation anymore. Sell them bitches quick. Yeah. Sell that child. What? You, oh, the PlayStation. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> My fault. <laughs> just get rid of the fucking My fault. kids. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The PlayStation. Yeah. That, you don't want to play the PlayStation? You yeah. spoil fuck. I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm sending you straight yeah. somewhere. <laughs> yeah. I don't. Where do you send kids? An orphanage? Yeah. It's like um, we have like this, like it like sounds like we're build, about to start a bit, and then it just, it just <laughs> it falls entirely yeah. flat. Um, <laughs> it, this is so chaotic. <laughs> yeah, especially yeah. this episode. Yeah, because like I don't think I'm allowed to do the snap, but you snap. Because uh, now we're in front of this, and yeah. then on the clip, that's wow. not gonna make sense. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're gonna be like, "What the fuck?" If just I happened? cut like the first tab, and then another, we say another thing that goes together, it's just gonna be, "What the fuck happened?" Yeah, yeah. It's We're not occur. trying to say to sell your kids. Oh, no. Well, maybe. <laughs> yeah. And then when if that they becomes a clip, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. you're going to be like, what the fuck happened to the background? Yeah. Don't even uh, question it. This is a welcome back. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this is like the, it's almost like a soft reboot because bit, even yeah. though we're kind of promoting it as, you know, the, the episode back, it's so starkly different from what we want it to be. That this is almost yeah. just like a bonus episode. <laughs> like, a little bit, yeah. yeah. But, you know, um, this... I also feel for, like, audio-only listeners, like... Yeah. There's like, a lot of visual shit that happened that we didn't really explain. Yeah. But, I mean, once we actually hit our groove and we're actually, like, going weekly, um, hopefully we'll not be just, like, fucking idiots, like, in yeah. front of a... I do definitely want to make this more of, like... Uh, I think that the hype around like video podcasting is so big that it's so easy to get like sucked into the video visual side of it mm -hmm. that it is important to try and focus on making this like something that people can listen to in the car and not feel like, oh, I'm completely missing the point of what they're saying. Yeah. Um, yeah which they kind of are because of the background. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the whole essence of a podcast is to hear what is being said, not look at yeah the stupid thing that we have i think the visual should be more of a bonus but the idea is to focus on like what they're actually hearing yeah so apologies um for what a shit show this was be and, better yeah we're, we're trying <laughs> we're trying but um yeah um i guess that was my trip like yeah. it, was a, it was it was an interesting one you know but yeah yeah um you definitely went at an interesting time because that was really when Omicron started to pop up and 
it was just unfortunate that you kind of had to be like locked in as much as you did. Yeah. But, uh, you know, and also at the same time, like I said, the Cuomo thing. Um, were you there when that, that Bronx fire happened? Or was that after the fact? I know that, again, there's like different parts of New York. So like even if you weren't in the Bronx, yeah. that like doesn't really mean like, oh, hey, were you there when it happened? Like yeah. I just mean in general. Oh, you're like, from New York. Do you know my guy? You know my buddy Vinny? Just, yeah. It's like, no, no yeah. I don't. <laughs> okay. Yeah. People say New York is small, but it can't be that small, you know? It's literally not. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's like one of the most populated states <laughs> ever. Yeah, exactly. You know? But, um, what else is there? You know, actually, after all the time we spent speculating for, for Spider-Man, we didn't even get a chance to review it when it was, like, at its peak. Yeah. So... If we want to try to get a little brief thoughts in, because... One word is not enough to yeah, describe. describe how that movie made me feel. Man. It made me feel damp. Yeah. I'm so glad that they showed everything during that orgy scene. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I, You know, the eternal sex scene, I thought was going to be a little, yeah. like, you know, it was awkward, and yeah. they kind of held back. I think that this was the one where they just, you know, they really fed into it and it worked well. Yeah. Come to think of it, the Eternals one, it's even more awkward knowing that they're literally just like humanoid robots. Yeah. And they're trying to pretend to have sex like that. Yeah. Or they, they are having have sex. the sensations of like. And if they do, it's just like, it's awkward because that means that what's his name had to like almost program that in. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, by the way, you also yeah. get horny. <laughs> yeah. Um, and you've probably done this like 30 times before and just forgot about it. Yeah. Yeah. Just you might have fucked the other ones. <laughs> nice. They might have had orgies in the past and they just ew. didn't know about. Ew. Ew. Yeah. Ew, ew, You're ew, welcome. Ew. 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 <laughs> Especially because Sprite does. Oh my you God. No. It. No. I forgot about Sprite being a kid. Yeah. No. No. You're done. You're done. <laughs> no. No. So Spider Man. No, no. I didn't. <laughs> um, yeah. No. Spider Man. Um, it's everything that we wanted and asked for. You know, like I said, Aunt May orgy. Um, no, nah, all bullshit aside, it is literally like everything that we had seen from leaks, you know, it came true. No surprise. Mm. Uh, big spoilers for anybody who for some reason hasn't seen it yet. Yeah, uh, at this point. At this point, no. it is what it is. No. I'm not even going to put like a big spoiler warning on the screen because like you fucking missed out. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, it was everything that we had really asked for and more i would argue like i didn't yeah. really expect it to go beyond my expectations so far yeah there was so much packed in that for as long as the movie was which is a pretty substantial two and a half hours it did not feel like it at all like, yeah so many um just like emotional beats hit and um a lot of fan service, of course, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, Matt Murdock, like, yeah, he was only in for like thirty seconds, but as someone who watched the Netflix show, it was like, fucking perfect, great. I'm so I glad he's here. I still need to watch the Netflix show. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I meant to start it soon, but I never got to it. That's all right. Um, people who had talked about how in the Spider-Man trailer after the Hawkeye show had premiered, um they started showing ads in the trailer for Spider-Man that had like the Steve Rogers, the musical thing. Mm -hmm. And it was in the Spider-Man trailer after yeah. we had I seen thought, it. I thought that was a nice touch. Yeah. I think that was a nice touch. And people were speculating, oh, does that mean that there's something to do with Hawkeye in Spider-Man? And I think that that's kind of what they were hinting at. Because mm -hmm. when you see, you know, spoiler for Hawkeye, if again, you haven't seen it. Um, when we see the Netflix Marvel Kingpin, mm -hmm. uh, is in this show, I think it was them kind of nodding at like, uh, 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 yeah. he's in here, you know who else oh. could be in here? Uh -huh. You know, a, a lawyer from, you know, New York? Yeah. You know? Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> After you just said his... <laughs> yeah. But, um, you know, he does the little, you know, catches the brick. He's like, how did you do that? I'm a really good lawyer. I, I'm glad that it was just like a little tease. Uh-huh. Because it did make you want to be like, 
why did Spider-Man not question that shit? Because <laughs> yeah. that's like when Stevie Wonder was like, there was like a story about Stevie Wonder when um, he was like in an elevator and I think like Shaq walked in without saying anything. And oh, Stevie Wonder was, like, was like, oh, hey, Shaq. And you're like, wait, <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute. I mean, I've, Shaq, I feel like Shaq is a pretty big present, like quite, quite literally a pretty big presence to sense. But yeah. And then like, you know, it's still it's, one of those things where you're like, D- how did you know? How do you know it's Shaq? <laughs> I didn't even say yeah. anything. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I don't know the legitimacy of that story. I think it was yeah. from, I forget who it was. It was probably like a comedian. Yeah. Like a that, it kind of goes with that idea of like, why did Spider-Man not question that? Mm. It's like, oh, he has the Peter Tingle too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> is that a Spider-Man? <laughs> oh my God. Is that Spider-Man? a lawyer Spider-Man? <laughs> <laughs> Into the Spider-Verse. Oh man. I can't wait for uh, that uh, to come out too. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, so yeah, I, 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 I actually had a, a gripe or two about the movie. Um, I think mm. the idea that Ned was able to use the sling ring and get the portals and open, I felt it was that was a little convenient. You know? Yeah. Um, uh, also, their use of Lizard and Sandman, like I, they weren't promoted at all. Like it was Willem Dafoe, Jamie Foxx, and Alfred Molina. Mm-hmm. Um, being used as like the three main villains that are like uh, being put out there and being interviewed and stuff. Um, so the actor for uh, Lizard, I forgot his name, and the actor for Sandman, uh, Thomas, or uh, Hayden Church, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They weren't being promoted. And I understood why by the time they were cured because they literally just used the same. F- they use footage of them from their respective movies. And yeah. like the the Sandman one was just him revert it was reversed, him being like turned back was <laughs> turned into in Spider Man three. That's funny as fuck yeah. actually. Yeah. I, I didn't even notice. To be fair, I haven't watched Spider Man three or either of the Garfield ones in a while. Uh huh. Um I tried starting the Andrew Garfield one with Megan mm-hmm. because before we went to go see the movie, we were like, we're going to binge all the movies. Yeah. She's a... What a disappointment a, if they weren't... If I they imagine. Weren't. Yeah, but you're right on. Um, no, nah, she's a she's a Toby stan now. Oh, oh nice. Voice. But, um, yeah, no, she thinks that Toby is uh, uh, attractive. Nice. She, she likes she likes Toby's. I'm an Andrew guy. I, I am too. Mm. I... I'm I glad he's getting appreciated for what he did mm-hmm. and rec- I mean he oh, there was always a sentiment that um um that he did good as Spider-Man. It was a matter of the script he was given in the movies and the direction. He yeah. himself was a highlight. Mm-hmm. And he was definitely a highlight in No Way Home. Like, oh my god. Yeah. You know, by far. He, I, got, he got his redemption. Oh. Yep. I we had seen stuff online about him possibly getting the redemption, <laughs> and I thought that that was like the most satisfying thing that could happen. Mm-hmm. And I'm so glad that it did happen because I didn't actually have much expectation that they would. Oh, really? I kind of yeah. was like, ah, they probably won't do it. Uh-huh. But they did it. Yeah. And I think it would have been cool if they kind of did like a flashback and like showed the Gwen thing to like visualize it for some people who probably didn't see it. Maybe not the like her snapping her oh, back for on the sure, floor, for but sure. just, just the visual of her three falling. Three different unused angles of her just like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like just the thing where it's like her falling, and you could kind of like see him like flashing back to that. I think that would have been cool, mm. but I think it was kind of similar in the way that they shot Zendaya, where she's like, oh. you know. I think it was. I think the, that would have been a cool shot, and I'm pretty. Sure, I'm sure someone will like edit it once. Yeah the HD version of it comes out um, mm-hmm. of it being like cut back to back. But um, I think it was like emotionally, like really well directed. Yeah. That was the shit that almost got me. Mm-hmm. My fuckers were talking about crying in the Spider-Man movie and I'm sitting there like, man, I mean like it's, I'm sure it's exciting, but like cry. But I do think I almost cried in Endgame or like Infinity War or one of those. So I'm not sure why I was so like skeptical. Dude, if I Endgame is one of those movies like if I am watching all the way through, 
I think I will cry by the end. And I've watched it through like 10 times. And each time it's just like a little tear. Just yeah. like when the, the hammer comes back and he says, Avengers Assemble. I'm just like, ah! My, uh, my girlfriend will like will watch... Man, this is the most I've ever talked about Megan on here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> most I've ever talked. Yeah, my about girlfriend. <laughs> people aren't really gonna think like, oh yeah, he doesn't have a girlfriend. He's, he's making this he's shit up. He's definitely compensating. <laughs> yeah. Um, we'll watch like the Notebook, and I just no emotion. Damn. But then like we watch Endgame, and it was like the same thing. Mm-hmm. I'm sitting there like they finally did it. <laughs> they finally <laughs> did it. No more. They did the thing. <laughs> You're like Aunt May says the it, with great power comes great responsibility, mm-hmm. and then it it took me a second, and I was like, wait, <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine you. In wait, the Uncle theater. Ben says that <laughs> in the theater, <laughs> just like oh, next to her. Just, <gasps> and then, I was like, no, 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 and then just she's like, yeah, I'm fine. <sighs> it's fucking yeah, slumber. Slum- I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh oh um, man, that. <laughs> No, nah, the whole movie was crazy. Yeah. I think, like you said, they did well with the fan service. Um, but it wasn't so fan service-y to where it just felt like it was a cheap cash grab. Yeah. it. I feel like um, it makes Toby and Andrew's movies better, um, mm-hmm. you know? Like, it's just... Like, Goblin snap, like, being taken away <laughs> from that moment and then being brought back. Yeah, I thought that was funny. Oh. People making <laughs> the memes where he's like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. man um yeah i i do think that it was solid and i think that it's a good starting point for them to kind of do like a soft reboot of spider-man mm-hmm. um and i think that's their plan because at the end of it people were pointing out that it like felt like a a separate short film mm. they're like so like after they beat the villains what was that 10 minute short film that played <laughs> Of, like, two dudes in a coffee shop and, you know, the girl. Yeah, yeah. I think, and I don't know how I feel about it, it kind of gave me more of, like, a, a Sony shot type vibe. Like, it didn't really feel like a mm. MCU movie. I and maybe this is just speculating, but it kind of felt like a different artistic direction as well in how they may move forward with the Spider-Man stuff, too. Mm. To where it's not so, like... I'm not saying all the MCU movies are like bright and colorful, but they have like a very specific way of being shot to where they almost yeah. kind of feel the same. I think John Watts as a director really evolved over this film. Mm-hmm. Like he got pretty experimental with some things and like, especially like Spidey's like fighting style. Like he was doing like throws and like his punches felt like they had weight to them. And mm-hmm. um, I think at the end with the coffee shop scene, like I, all the, all the adrenaline and stuff of seeing Toby and Andrew fighting with him, all that had died down because then you just realize this guy doesn't have anyone anymore. And yeah. like, uh, I love the detail of um, MJ still having the Black Dahlia necklace on. Mm-hmm. Like she, she doesn't know why she has it anymore, but she still has it on. Yeah. And I'm sure it still has some meaning to her, meaning like he, he's always right there. And then you see the Band-Aid, and it's like, all right. So at, as long as she knew me, there was always a chance of her getting hurt. So I can't allow this. I have to let that go. Mm. So that's sort of like, oh, you know. Yeah. Um, what was I going to say? I was going to bring something up about the movie, too. Um, oh, as a wrestling fan? The amount of scenes where, like, is that, like, Leonardo DiCaprio meme where you're, like, pointing at the TV? <laughs> yeah. like, um, that's how I looked when I seen them bust out, like, German suplexes and fucking right? yeah, Green yeah, Goblin yeah. did. I don't know if it was a spine buster or an actual, like, power bomb, but it was literally, yeah. like, through three floors. Or, <laughs> yeah, all the or way not three, to it was, the, like, yeah, it was, yeah, like, all the way to the, like, lobby. seven or eight floors yeah. through the, like, I was, like, God damn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, it was like the brutality that we would see in the first Spider-Man, too. Mm-hmm. So it was like, mm-hmm. um, 
you know, it was cool to see that they didn't just make like Willem Dafoe like, ah, <laughs> here's some yeah. bomb, Spider Man, and he you know. slipped back into that role so effortlessly. Yeah, it, I mean, he was beating the shit out of him. Yeah, and he want he and, said in interviews he wanted to do his own stunts, and like props to like him, like, I mean, he's got plenty of. That's why he's willing to go. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Sure. Sure. <laughs> hey, I'm not alone on that one. <laughs> I didn't even make that joke up. Yeah, but you saying it hurts. <laughs> okay, yeah, for sure. It just feels like it comes from a different place, you know. It's just, yeah. Uh, yeah. That wasn't me talking. That was my that was my demons. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man. But um, what else? How long have we been going? Uh, what time is it? Damn. <laughs> you took <laughs> off. I forgot. I took off. <laughs> Damn. 12 <laughs> it, I know. Oh, fuck. 12.50. 12.50? Okay, yeah. so we have another, like... No, we're over an hour. You know, this is a very unorthodox episode, and we'll probably save this uh, environment if you want to snap to, you know, change it for the, the mood. We'll probably save this environment for absolute emergency cases because, like I said, Florida weather is so unpredictable. Going into the summer and, like, spring, it should be fine. But most of the time, it's, like, raining towards the end of the year. So I think we can wrap up just by kind of talking about uh, what we plan on doing this season Um, Mm -hmm. when it comes to having, like, goals – um, I really hope that we can eventually try to branch this out. And I think we're planning on getting into more like, not necessarily like city specific, but like kind of going out of our way when it comes to bench so that it's not just so like, uh, in the same kind of environment like we do or did in the first season. Yeah. I think we kind of want to do bigger things with it where, like I said, I don't want to be in like a city environment, but I do want to go out to like bigger parks and uh, more spacious areas where we can get a lot more interaction, but it still kind of has the same feeling of like walking up to a park bench. Yeah. Um, and I think that we're going to have that happen pretty soon. Yeah. We, I, we feel like we've expanded like the area where we are like to the fullest extent because Frankly, everything looks the same here. Like, yeah. yeah. We're in the middle of suburban hell. Yeah. There's no natural environment. Yeah. Um, but this right here, this what we're behind right here, yeah, that's totally natural. Totally natural, yeah. you know. Um, I'm, I'm scared to see what you might put. <laughs> yeah, honestly. <laughs> occasionally. Uh, I'm scared too. Uh, yeah, but, like, dude, like, really? Come on. I know, I'm sorry. I just yeah. had to. Yeah, anyway, just, we're back. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, just make it hard for me to edit later. <laughs> I just, and make like, it even, fire. even harder for the audio listeners. They're just oh, like, no, yeah. man, I don't get the joke. Don't worry. We don't either. <laughs> yeah, um, we're literally in the same boat as you at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> um, all of the socials have done all right. I think that the best thing that we've had so far is really our TikTok audience. Mm-hmm. Um we do have like a, a solid amount of people who listen every week to the full podcast, which we love and appreciate. Yeah. Thank um, you to those who do so. And although I also appreciate the TikTok crowd and we do a lot of stuff on TikTok, like we've been going live. It's not just us posting clips. Um, so if you ever want to stop by, you know, go check out the TikTok. But we do kind of want to focus on like, like I said, making this more of like a legitimate podcast, mm. really focus on building up the base for the podcast itself. Uh, not just like clip pages like our Instagram. Uh, I think that those are good in terms of just like having us out there and having another place for people to interact with us because that's another thing. We want people to like hit us up on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, whatever it may be, and just message us and like let us know what you want to hear about, what uh, we want to talk about because there are things that we have in store that are plans that people had asked us to do. People thought like, oh, hey, it would be cool if you talked about this. Yeah. And, you know, the whole point of us doing it in public is that there's like some sort of interaction. And even online, I think we can kind of have that same thing where if 
people kind of talk to us and tell us like, oh, hey, like it would be interesting to hear your take on this. It kind of gets other people involved as well. God, if do we really? Go, how long do you think we went? Man, I think we're getting close to like uh, by the end of this, we're probably gonna get like an hour and a half. Typically, we try to cut it in an hour. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I think that. Do you want to set like a on camera a goal for the year? Like we each say, like what what do we want by the end of this year? Realistically, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want a million dollars. Uh, I'll go back to yeah. like the 2016 phase where it's like, I want a million dollars, a new Lambo, Supreme Louis. Uh, I would legitimately love if we somehow got a sponsor on here. Yes, I think that would be really cool. Yeah, um, I don't want to. I don't really want to attach a number, but you know, mm -hmm. I just. To keep growing like this is a lot of fun to make and like if we were able to get to an audience that wants to see us every week as much as we want to be here every week that would mean a lot you know so yeah yeah i'm kind of in the same boat i probably won't put a number on things kind of like you were saying because i also don't want to like run shy of that mm. i think that in reality kind of in the same vein as you, I think it'd be cool if we got, like, a local celebrity yeah. on here. And maybe that's not as realistic. But would it be cool as hell? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Even if it's somebody that, like, we don't even like. Just the idea of, like, <laughs> holy shit, we got this guy on here. Or, like, holy yeah. shit, we got this person. I mean, we've already made a lot of, like, uh, big moves in between season one and season two and like like we we've, we've talked over break a few times about like if watching back the, our very first episode to see where we were then like that shit was so garbage it really was yeah and now to see the the production that we have we kind of we have a set yeah kind of <laughs> we have a backup set it's yeah. crazy it, you guys don't get to see it but it kind of feels like jay jonah jameson when you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. he cuts away and he's in his like uh, it's Basement, like a, garage, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's kind of what we're, we're doing in the too. Same boat right now. It looks professional. Yeah. So, you know. Yeah, I really hope that we kind of do well this year. Uh, I've been excited to get back into it, and I'm excited to see where it goes this year. Um, we really kind of want to develop it into something that feels unique and more to us. And I think that we have some ideas on how we're planning on doing that. Um. Oh, um, sorry. But expect um the follow up video for um when Colin taught me how to dress, taught me mm -hmm. about fashion. Expect the follow up video where I teach him about martial arts um sometime in the future. Hopefully, I will put future. a date on it. I will put a date on it. Um, if you're still uh, listening to this point, the next part of our little series that we did on Colin and Devin will be out on the same day as the next episode of Benched. So it'll be out in a less complicated way of saying it next Friday. <laughs> it's like he's trying to hit the word limit yeah. on, the, on an essay. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to just fill space in between. Yeah. Um, I think I hit my thousand, you know? <laughs> For sure. <laughs> By now, in an hour and a half, you fucking Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Way more than a thousand. <laughs> um it will be out on the exact same day. We'll promote it everywhere. We'll try to put it out so that people know not only is the new episode of Bench coming out, but also go watch this new YouTube video that we came out with because it's going to be really funny. Um, I'm really excited to get it out there. It's just been a pain in the ass to edit so, yeah. because of like small production problems that we had done uh, that were like easy fixes, but stuff that does make it harder for me on the back end. But I would have wanted it to come out at the same time as this episode. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'm going to have enough time. So I'm really going to just rush to get it out uh, next week at the exact same time as this episode. I kind of have, an I kinda have another thing. Um, so uh, Most convoluted outro ever. <laughs> yeah, I'm so sorry. No, it's not you. Like, I'm saying. <laughs> um, I'm going to snap. Oh, okay. Because the background is now what I'm about to show Colin. Okay. And it has been my phone 
wallpaper for a while now no and give you a little glimpse <laughs> about no. what no i'm terrified expect damn it <laughs> <laughs> yeah damn it. <laughs> so you can expect all of that um in that video whenever it whenever it comes out so yeah <laughs> I think that covers everything. We can. Yeah. I would love to end off on that. <laughs> yeah. Um, I appreciate y'all for listening. Yeah. We're gonna um, go to Wawa get some Cakesters. Ah, oh, Publix. Publix. Cause I gotta get my post up. We might do both. Mm. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we're done. All right. See y'all next week. Appreciate y'all. All right. Good lord. <laughs> Why would you do that? Yeah.